Well, we have to start with that injury to Neil Etheridge. It was a quite a high-speed collision with Jed Spence. Is there any early update on his condition? He came off with a concussion. He was out cold the whole time that he was getting treated on on the pitch. Um, obviously, now he's, he's gone to hospital and, and he'll be getting checked over. So we're just waiting for hopefully some good news. You want your keepers to be on the front, front foot and sweep those things up, and he's came to deal with a ball that you'd expect him to, to come out and contest. Yeah, um, I, I thought his starting position was excellent, and he got to the ball first. It's, it's a tricky one because Spence is, is so fast. Um, Neil probably thought he was comfortable at one stage, and then realised, okay, now nah, this lad's <laughs> on top of me. But it was an unfortunate collision. Two honest players going for the ball, and. Um, their momentum's just made them collide. So, uh, but the most important thing, hopefully, Neil is 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 okay. In terms of the game itself, it ended in defeat. But what did you make of it? It's so frustrating because, for large parts of the game, I, I felt we was the better side. Um, everything that we'd worked on through the week, how we can get in and around their penalty area, it it, it, it worked, and we got there a lot. Taking the goal away in the first half. I thought we was the better side. Um, and second half, there was nothing in it. I think it was probably more even second half, but then they get the, the goal from the set piece and, and that makes it really difficult. So, um, but again, I can't fault the players. I think effort-wise, they, they gave everything, but we just lacked that quality in the final third. And, and that was the difference of the two teams. Yeah, going up against an informed, confident Forest side in their backyard, you said it'd be a good gauge just to see how we compare. We want to get to that sort of situation. What did you learn today? They're more clinical. They make the right decisions more than what we do. And that's, that, that's what it is. It's nothing difficult. It, they make the right decision, the right weight of pass, you know, the cross when it's the right time to cross, pass when it's the right time to pass. It's, all these decisions are split second ones, but they, they made the right one more than what we did and with more quality and that, that was that was what we need to improve on and I think we've improved as a team again I thought we, we moved the ball well and, and caused them problems but but we didn't ask enough questions of their goalkeeper yeah you'll always pick the bones out of goals that you concede but to go behind so early in the game is a big frustration it gives you a lot to do away from home yeah yeah obviously guards getting caught in the middle of the park too many touches um, but you have to say, good, good finish from their, from their lad. But that's them, they've, they've got pace on the break and, and they punish her and they've been doing it ever since the manager's gone in there. And, um, and then the second one, it's the fellow on the back of the head and from a, like, a yard or two out, that shouldn't happen, that's a, that's a bad goal. Um, so both goals, we should have done better and in the final third, we should have done better. So, so frustrating because there was a lot of good things but it just shows that we we still got a, got a fair way to go to improve to, to get in and around them top six teams. If we can dwell on a couple of the positives, as you say, Taylor Richards, Juninho Bakuna getting in good areas and in flashes, in spells this afternoon, they showed they can cause a problem or two for the opposition. Yeah, and again, it's things that we was working on in, in, in the week to, to try and get them on the ball and, and to cause problems but we've come away without scoring a goal. So it's OK having that little bits of quality here and there, but there has to be end product and not just them two, but that's, that's what we have to work on as, as a group. So, uh, but they both, I thought they both done, done well today. Yeah, a change of tact in that second half, just to throw the big lads up in Troy Deeney and Lucas Jukovic, Jordan Graham supplying from the right hand side. And they gave you a little something, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, obviously. It was a case of well, we, we need a goal now and, and try something a little bit different, put the two big fellas on and, and, and put balls in the box and ask them questions that way. And um, we did, but yeah, we huffed and puffed at the end, but just, just didn't have that little bit of quality.